Hello and welcome to episode 15 of our Timberborn update for modded playthrough with the Folktales faction. Last time, we finally finished planting all of our maple trees here. We beautified slightly <laughs> some of uh, some of the dams over here. Improved our uh, tree planting and gathering a little bit. We'll be doing a little bit more of that today as well. And are finally kind of in the right spot to be producing more chestnuts. And that's going to be a pretty major focus for today. We got so much done last time that I actually don't have a huge list of projects to take care of, but we've got enough to keep us busy for about an hour or so. So we're going to go ahead and get right on to it. First off by examining our food supply here. Now you'll notice pull up on everything except grilled chestnuts, literally everything except grilled chestnuts. Every other input in the building is completely full. And uh, that is going to be one of our major first focuses. But if you take a look at the ingredients up here for the raw things. Uh, some of those are looking better than others. Uh, for the time being, we seem to be okay with the population we have, but we're going to eventually want to ramp this population up a little bit. In fact, we could use some uh, some more housing to get some more beavers in here. We only have about uh, 27 vacancies right now, but we do have eight incapacitated beavers because of bee stings and injuries and all that sort of fun stuff. So we will see what we're able to make happen. I have been saying that I wanted to put another uh, housing complex around here somewhere. But I haven't decided exactly where that's going to be. It needs to be in range of all of our different uh, monuments and everything. So in theory, in theory, it should be somewhere maybe around here. We did originally have one right here, and I kind of got rid of it because I didn't really like how it looked. But we might end up putting that back in. Uh, other things to take care of today. We want to do a little bit more work here with the little carnival island. I really like how these lanterns look. It's just fantastic. And I know we talked about it last time a little bit. But we've got quite a bit to take care of in the grand scheme of things for this. Oh. Are they actually able to build this? Or am I just, uh, am I just crazy? I thought they weren't going to be able to get to this. Well, I'm actually, I'm going to pause this one so they can actually still stand here and build that. Maybe that's what my uh, concern was going to be. Anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more of a move on here with our chestnuts. Now, you'll notice raw chestnuts, we actually have a decent bit. It's not as many as we should, but we do have 243. They're just not grilled. So one thing that we might want to consider doing is adding some more grills just for chestnuts. But if we can just, you know reorganize uh, some of these and that's probably a better option currently we have this one hey city builders rule by the way beard booster working in the uh, potato grill i'm um, making some grilled potatoes cow face dev grill and the chestnuts uh, i think this is not a beard booster i'm not sure we have 80 of them now so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with individual names spatterdock spatterdock john keith over here grilling chestnuts so we actually do have two chestnut uh, grills they just for some reason can't seem to keep up and I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. Maybe it's uh, the lack of logs currently. We do have a very, very small number of logs. So that could and likely is the reason why we're lagging behind so much. So let's take a look and see uh, what our production is looking like. Yeah, uh, we have almost 3,000 planks. I think I can shut these off. These guys right here, we really, really do not need those. We have a full storage of gears as well. So I'm going to pause the gears. So now the only things using uh, logs should be the grills, the bakeries. Um, I think the smelters use them also. Yeah, that's honestly probably where a lot of them are coming from. But we've got a good amount over here. We just need to be able to harvest more of them. So I think what we might want to do, come over here and actually put in a couple more of these guys which we can pretty easily do by just stacking another warehouse and then building. I kind of get reacclimated to the folktales after playing Water Beavers yesterday, which, by the way, first episode of that series is out. Please go watch it. It's a whole lot of fun. But uh, we're going to have these additional lumberjacks here. Should help out. And we'll see where that goes. Uh, we have plenty of trees. We're not in any danger of being out of wood. We just have to better manage what we already have. So think that is what we're going to be doing here. I actually don't even know if we need to plant many more chestnut trees. We might want to keep these as maples. Because we do have these planted as chestnuts. 
And once all of these are fully mature, we might have enough maples to get away with not having any more of those. But I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. It's just one of those things. Um, yeah, it's, it's severely impacting our ability to have the proper amount of packaged food available. So we really, really want to get that going as fast as possible. So to that end, are there any other easily accessible trees? I mean, I guess I could have them cut back here. I just don't have a path. Yeah, I don't have an easy path to get back there. Well, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to just uh, kill off some of these dandelions we don't really want or care about. Yeah, so just go ahead, turbo mode it up, get these things out of here. We'll put a path all the way back. And then we will stick another lumberjack flag, harvest these guys. He should be able to reach if I put him here. Uh, how far out is that going to go? Come on, click on it. Mmm, almost. Almost. Well, we'll worry about that when we get there. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, build this. <laughs> be done with it. All right, somebody come uh, take care of this. Can I just click on the correct thing? Thank you. All right, good. Let's mark these for cutting because they are not currently. And we have these three right here. That'll help us in the short term. And I believe our uh, chestnut grilling situation should vastly improve once we have enough logs. Yeah, look at these. Look at these guys go. See? And that's good that these that are right next to the packing plants are going to be working correctly again because, uh, well, that's a lot of stuff to schlep around. So we'll let them take care of what they need to take care of. Oh, do these take logs too to burn? No, because they just take power to actually just mechanically pack things. All right, so that's a good thing. Glad we fixed that. Um, additional things with food and water. We have a good supply of all of our food stuff. Oh, at least, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know why my brain decided not to work today, but it certainly did. Um, we have ways for them to get food near all of our housing right here. So I'm not concerned about that. Water, though, is a slightly different story. We don't have really any good uh, any good mechanism for that. We have these uh, small tanks, but they tend to get drained pretty fast. And I'm not really, uh, not really sure this is a great spot for them. There aren't really that many good places to begin with to be placing a whole bunch of... Uh, water storage just out here so that is uh mostly the fault of me building this and not not really knowing exactly the right thing to be doing but if we want to have additional beavers uh, living here we are going to have to build something probably right here in the similar vein to how this was set up might not go quite so big on it might just go uh three of these wide on the bottom leave some buffer space and if we take a look at underwater here, here we got our frog paths. Um, if we're able, if we're able, I would like to blast this out and then put in double lodges. I could go one, two, three. Oh, I could do four, but we couldn't have a path all the way around the outside. So I think, I think we'll just stick to having a uh, stick to having three. So we'll go ahead since we have our dynamite, just uh, blow this whole thing up right up to here. Why not? We can plant something else there. But get that properly destructified. Stick our lodges in there. And then we'll see if we can build something similar to this. Maybe a slight improvement aesthetically. And uh, get the rest of those beavers in here. Should house around 25 or 30. I don't know why these guys are all hungry. There's tons of food. Just go get it. Go get food. Go get drink. You're going to be all right. And just to make sure none of these are marked for cutting. Yeah, I don't see any. I do see, however, under the tapper shack that's still marked for cutting. So let's take care of that. Uh, these are slowly being cut down, so that's good. Still not burning any logs here, or using them, rather. Here comes the drought. So how are we looking? Oh, we actually have a pretty decent amount of maple syrup. Not too bad. We have some unharvested wheat, which leads me to believe that our uh, wheat production is still completely up to the task. 
Potato wise, carrots definitely. I think yeah, things are looking pretty good. I think once the chestnuts catch up, we're gonna see a uh, a surge of demand and supply fluctuate back and forth for a little bit. But I think the amount that we currently have planted for the population we currently have is fine. I don't think we need to really worry about it too much. Let's come back over here to our construction site. Blast that away. And come in here with the double lodges here, here, and here, and then along the back side as well. And we already have the path here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in platforms. And then on those platforms, we can put some either some hedges or some more water storage tanks or something to that degree. Let's see what uh, is specifically on our mind. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well, right here. We can leave the frog path in place. That's fine. Just build on top of it. No, uh, no issues there. And in fact, uh, this corner bit right here probably should be a ladder. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's just make this. Uh, I believe right there is probably fine. Just make that a ladder, so uh, a little easier access here. But we'll just have this come all the way around. And then we can turn this guy, these metal stairs, into a ladder. I know that's one of those things that gives a bonus for aesthetics metal staircase. I don't know why it has its own thing, but it but it does. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to move this guy either one unit here or one unit further out here. Or just replace them entirely and just build one <laughs> right here on this undeveloped land just because cause I can but we have to wait until this is finished, or else they're not going to have any way to get around. Right, now that that's there, take a look at how this is set up. We have this really weird stairs design. I'm not really a, not really much of a fan of this. But I think it's going to give us a good opportunity on the side here, maybe to do a side entrance stairway. Uh, I do want to have rooftop terrace here, or maybe here on this side. Yeah, so if we did that way... Actually, no, I got that flipped around backwards. Let's remove that. There we go. This way and this way, I can actually put a second uh, little lodge thing right up here. And then, actually, I want this one to go backwards the other way. So then we can just have one uh, pathing unit going up this side. And then this actually could become... Could become a ladder. And if we did that, uh, get out of here, frog path. I have to put a ladder here. Um, if we do this way, I think, I think that's going to end up working out the best to our advantage. Which means this does not have to be a ladder anymore. It can just be a regular platform. And we can put the proper frog path back underneath it. And regular path right there. So that might not be the most beautiful thing ever, but it is very functional and it's going to allow us to have a slightly better uh, aesthetic design sitting back on this side. So what we'll do now is we'll put our decorative roofing right here. And this is going to hit every single unit of this housing with this one, one little roof piece. So that's going to be good. So we don't have to worry about putting the little slivers here. And instead we can come over to our uh, decorative pieces. Now, if we have one that is only one tall, I mean, we, I know we have the cube, but if we had like a very gentle slope coming up, that would be nice. I don't think that's really a... Th don't get out of here. Come on, let me click on this. I don't think that's a thing that exists. But we do have square corners. We have these guys we already used. We also have uh, decoration slopes. We could do something like this or this. Or get this turned back around. I believe uh, decoration slope corner. We tried this one before, and it, I didn't really uh, didn't really care too much for it. But if we were to do something, this really does not want to let me place anything. This time lapse thing's killing me. If we did that, that doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look great, but yeah, pausing is definitely I think going to be the uh, the best option for us here. We have a uh, this like so doesn't look the. Uh, doesn't look the worst. 
Yeah, I, I guess we could live with that. We'll put the same kind of thing over here. Just rotate this. Let me click. Thank you. And then beautiful damn pieces on all of these guys. And then I wish I had like a, a single tile prism, but I guess I'm not going to be able to do that. So instead what we'll do here, uh, decoration. We have our lanterns and all this other stuff we're going to get into as well. But I think for right here, just a simple shrub is going to work just fine. So this should have a pretty good amount of a uh, pretty good amount of population ability. Is that even a word? I think that's fine. And we have all this space here too that we can place uh, various things. Like I know we wanted to put in uh, based off of incapacitated beavers. Uh, check our bed situation out here. So they're actually not using all these medical beds, so I'm no longer worried about that. I think the best thing is going to be for us to come in and put in. We have some other tanks, actually, I, I didn't think to uh, to try and use. Small covered tanks, if we want to put something on top, probably not the worst idea. We put two of these guys in, and then we have our... Uh, all these water beaver things are tripping me out here. Uh, we have these guys set to obtain obtain water to obtain water to obtain and now we have the ability to put uh, different decorations and things on top of these guys as well so we could do some shrubs could do some more roof pieces which I think uh, probably would be smart to have at least Two of those we could also put a beaver statue except we already have one right here so we kind of don't need that and we already have shrub here so is there anything else we could is there is there a dumb billboard we can put in what is, i don't even i haven't even looked at all these <laughs> no no let's let's not put that in there but that's funny <laughs> <laughs> I love these. Uh, these are from the Water Beaver mod, uh, if you were curious. Although I think you can download this uh, separately from the Water Beaver mod. Anyway. <laughs> it's, oh, that is wild. Uh, let's see, what else, what else was I going to put here? I guess I could put these decorative blocks on this one side. Uh, if we have some simple thing we want to do, like we have these corners. I know this is already kind of blocked off. But what if, what if we did just a simple, simple little thing like that? It's not the worst, but it, it does give all these beavers that, uh, the beautiful damn bonus, which is always nice to see. All right, so now that's taken care of. Let's uh, pause again, take these metal stairs out, and I'm just going to replace this with a ladder. Get that built immediately. Oh, they're chanting away in here again. Yeah, that's terrifying. Alright, so some of these should be producing maple syrup. Or maybe they're just really efficient at harvesting it. I don't know. There's nothing in here, but that could also just be because they're transporting everything over here because this is set to obtain. So that's fine. Um... Yeah, the chestnut stuff seems to be kind of keeping up. Not great, but it's keeping up well enough for right now. I think uh, our log log situation, oh, there it is. Log situation should improve, hopefully. I don't doubt that it will. So now we have 334 beavers, including uh, the young ones. And we have 22 uh, unemployed, three incapacitated, and still two vacancies. So we actually built the correct amount of housing to get everybody, uh, every job filled at least, currently. Now we have 23 extras because, you know, all this other stuff paused. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We, we have enough. So if we, if we unpaused all these there would only be a few beavers that didn't have any jobs, anything to do. So that's good to know. Uh, let's see, can I finish this yet? Looks like I can. 
this area really looks nice at night with the uh, the lanterns and everything. Uh, somebody had a suggestion I kind of liked uh, to put side platforms over here and then build a rooftop terrace coming off of uh, the front here. This little relaxation area. And they also said light pollution is bad, so sorry, beavers. You don't get to see. No, uh, no lanterns up top for you. But I'll help you climb the stairs, and then you can have them right here by your... Uh, your little uh, area here. So if we do side platforms, just up like so, and then place a rooftop terrace, perfect. Well, there you go. You got a little, uh, you got a little deck, a veranda here with uh, some some nice lanterns and some food and drink, and the observatory, which actually emits its own light. So I don't know. I don't know, I think the uh, the people arguing against light pollution near the observatory might have just lost a little bit of credit with me. Because <laughs> this thing lights up. Oh, I, I digress. But, um, yeah, that should, man, these are all so hungry and thirsty. Why? Let's just get your, get your snack and move on. Well, at any rate, that should help these guys out a little bit. Make it a little easier to take care of the rest of that stuff. And I think our uh, other stuff is rebounding pretty nicely here. These guys are just kind of cycling through chestnuts. These are not even going to be fully grown yet until probably closer to the end of the episode, which is what it is. Um, still getting all of the maple syrup out of these guys, I see. But we've moved all of our uh, resin gathering to these trees. And we have plenty of resin, so that's not a concern. We're not really burning through the uh, reinforced planks or anything. And this guy, cutting trees down, currently has nothing to do. So, well, clearly he has nothing better to do if I deprioritize this entirely. So I guess we can just leave this alone for now, but we will be needing to cut down, uh, hopefully, all of these maple trees and replacing them with chestnuts once this is all completely mature. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's not a uh, huge ordeal. Now, over here... We have a number of things we can continue doing. I want to get rid of these stumps, so I'm going to very quickly uh, just place these here and then just uh, get rid of them so we don't have to worry about any of that. All right. Now we have our lanterns. I really like the lanterns, but somebody said, hey, why don't you put a Tory gate over here by the carnival? So if we take a look at these guys, we've got a bunch of different ones. We have tried um, a few different different places uh, if I'm not mistaken I just don't remember and that is uh, unfortunate where did I where did I put these things I know we messed with them am I just insane is that what uh is that what it is I just I don't remember at all but I know I know I did something with them or we were maybe investigating doing something with them anyway I don't know let me know in the comments if you think I'm deranged I've lost my insert adjective here mind but um we have a bunch of different ones we can look at uh, obviously the great wooden one enormous does not fit here well i guess it technically does but um that also is not really going to be the appropriate place to put one of those um now over here by the temple we have well the way that this is set up these shrubs can go and um is this gonna fit yeah, so we can have our treated or we can have iron. I like this one. Right at the uh, the entrance to the temple. I think that's going to be nice. Well, that's, you know, in actual Japan, that's where you'd find those. Or at holy sites and all that other stuff. I don't, I don't really know too much about Eastern, Eastern religion. But I believe that's, uh, that's what that's for. So we have over here, I believe we can do uh, either these treated or these iron ones. Uh, just... Uh, they would give the same bonus, and then we'll have to put the uh, the great one somewhere else. But I, I like to look at this treated one. I think that is pretty snazzy. So if we locate this a little closer, then most of the beavers that are coming in here will be able to uh, have some of that. If we put this here, I think, I think, here, if we pause this, uh, come back into our lanterns, we get our paper lanterns. There we go. I can put that on that side, and then I can put that one on that side. 
and that kind of flanks it. I don't know if that uh, looks tacky next to the uh, next to the gate like that, <clears throat> but I think that looks pretty cool. And then we can come alongside with the street lanterns, uh, maybe on the inside of the path as well. Is it going to let me build multiples on the same one? I don't think so. But I believe put this guy at the intersection here. And then do I have room to put another uh, other paper? Oh, that's why I didn't do it is because they didn't uh, they didn't match. But with these street lanterns, I can just kind of put them wherever. So if we did just four right there like so. And then on this side, yeah, just light this whole thing up. It's gonna look really nice at night. Hopefully that's the idea. Oh, I, I can't block the doorway, although it would let me do it. But I'm uh, I'm not going to block the doorway. That would be kind of a uh, kind of insane. Now paper lanterns. Is this gonna be the right length? Um, I guess we could. Uh, I guess we could get away with that. And this is still a path, so that's fine right there. This looks this looks pretty nice. Not the most beautiful thing ever, but I think that is something. Now can I? Haha, uh -huh. is that going to clip weird into this thing? No, it might actually look pretty good. Okay, I think we can live with that. Pretty uh, pretty snazzy little improvement right there. But yeah, this will uh, grant some aesthetics bonus, so we'll let them build that, use up some of our treated planks. You know, we only have 1,600 of them. But that's going to be nice there. This has already been built here. Very nice. <laughs> I love this. This flavor text here. Luxurious Tory gate made of the finest wood coated with pine resin. A large number of beavers keep watch to make sure no one gnaws on it. <laughs> That's great. This is absolutely fantastic. And now sunsets. Let's check out. Oh, look how cool this looks. Look how nice this is with all these lanterns lit up. That is something else. What a great mod. Now my performance is really starting to suffer. Spiking down to zero. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll survive. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. And we can do a bunch of similar stuff over here at some point uh, if we can figure out a way to route things. But this is looking nice. Yeah, up to 46. Cool. So what is... Uh, yeah, food is looking good. Bee stings. That's always going to be hilarious to me. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere and they still get stung. Uh, campfires. That's going to be a hard one to get because that takes up a lot of land space. Uh, rooftop terraces should be fine eventually. Uh, the greatest craftsmanship, we are going to have to have more of these guys somewhere else. We have to get dirt, period, point blank. I uh, don't have any scarecrows yet. Um, yeah, gorgeous Tory gate. That's the uh, the ones we just put down. So that's good to see. We've got 101 of those out of 338. Uh, glory, still have to figure out what that one uh, triggers. Not sure. Um, everything else, yeah, frog statues getting plenty of them with the frog statues I tell you that right now uh, shrines and temples room for improvement there but yeah stuff is looking pretty good pretty good uh, taking a glance at my notes here we already did most of that but uh, we did have a couple comments last time suggesting we improve this area especially now that most of this has been gathered up and what we can go ahead and do is put in some uh, ladders over here so they can start accessing additional uh, areas up here. So that should get them up to every everything, more or less. I think they can reach everything now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put these out here. And we're going to move, instead of having these, I don't need to pause. Just delete all of these. And we'll move all of the lumberjack or lumberjack, the sca scavenger flags, all the way up here, so it's a little closer. All right, clicking apparently is difficult, but that gives us twelve up there, which I think is more than we actually had, unless I'm terrible at math, or it could be exactly as many as we had down here, which is also fine. So they'll be able to get out the rest of this hopefully a little easier. That's a little bit better organized, and then when they're done cutting down all of the uh, the wood, or the wood, the, the metal towers, we'll plant some trees. 
I think this is going quite well. We have extra, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got Brian Ott, Beard Booster, and Loverjack Flag. We've got uh, Traxo 17 as well. Uh, let's see, here is storage for gears. I guess we could make this storage for gears as well. So that's looking fine right there. Yep, plenty of tree harvesting. And we can start moving our uh, path down this way as well to connect over here. And a couple people suggested we put some of these uh, lanterns or whatever on these dams as lighting. And I think that's a great idea. So let's go ahead, go over to our lanterns, see how the paper ones look. I'm not really, uh, I'm not completely convinced this is the best idea for the paper ones. One, because they only go on one side. But uh, two, we don't have any other, <laughs> we don't have anything to the side to uh, balance it out. So we could do indoor lanterns as kind of like little uh, little footlights, or we can do these street lanterns that are slightly taller, and then these that are up on the poles. But I don't think we can do, no, we can't do it in the same square, so we'd have to kind of alternate these. Now these, these little short ones, I think, are going to fit this kind of a, a thing much better. Be kind of visually unobtrusive, but still provide a decent amount of light. So that is what I would... Uh, I think prefer to do actually let's let's flip flop the uh, order here because then I can have them actually match up with everything else now a little little tedious but it's going to be worth it because these are going to look really nice so we'll go skip one there we go and they'll come down on the other side as well just have this go all the way down now are any beavers actually going to walk past these Eh, probably not. But it's going to look nice at night, and that is the whole point to uh, make these things look a little bit better. And here, too, even though we don't have any path going across this, I do want to take the time and lay these out just to illuminate stuff. And then we have this whole, whole bridge-type thing here. Uh, if we put those there, that might be... Uh, might be okay, I guess. Let's see how's how's this gonna look. Mmm. Well, all right. It's it's fine like that. That's all right. Because then that can go there, and I can actually put this one at the end. That should look. Let's see what that looks like when that gets all lit up. Oh, look how cool that is. I like that, and this looks nice as well. Uh, we can unpause these things. Get those actually constructed. That looks really really nice. I'm glad we did that. So that was a, a great suggestion. I cannot remember off the top of my head who did, but it is in the comments of the last video, so if you're curious, uh, feel free to go back and look. I responded to it. But this is looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. We just have to wait for them to get rid of these additional trees here, and then everything will be fully connected. But look at this. Look at this. Oh, it reminds me of, you know, you fly into an airport late at night and you see all the lights along the highway. Very, very interesting look. Really appreciate that. All right. Now our, uh, our log harvesting is not recovering quite as fast as I was hoping it would, but now this is looking, uh, looking pretty, pretty snazzy up here. Pretty nice. 64 unemployed beavers because we're still in the drought, of course, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fix that. We got some other jobs and stuff we can put in. Now over here, Power-wise, let's check our uh, flywheels here. Yep, plenty of power stored up still, so that's nice. Looking good there. Uh, Metal-wise, we have tons, so this is completely adequate still. We don't have to worry about uh, expanding that, which is good to know, because that was kind of a pain to build. Uh, look how fast this guy's going now. It's only at 32,000 out of 120,000, so imagine when that's fully charged, how fast that thing's going to be spinning. Wild. Now, outside of uh, waiting to get the rest of this completely up and running, harvesting uh, maple syrup and everything, I think there's still a few that are pretty far behind, but maybe about half to two-thirds of these should be yielding maple syrup now. And our, yeah, our reservoir here is looking really nice, so I think we consider the VAT problem mostly solved. Uh, chestnuts, however, still lagging behind, so I think... 
now is going to be the time to start cutting these back, these uh, uh, maple trees, and just planting them in chunks. None of these currently have syrup on them, so that's oh, this one does. So hopefully, uh, hopefully someone comes and uh, you know gathers this. I think that's what they're doing now. Yep, good. Yeah, so we'll just uh, keep planting in stages, gradually more and more chestnuts, and as the rest of these fully come online, then we can just gradually phase this out. But that's going to be one of those things that kind of takes a little bit of time to get to. Our rooftop terraces, are they all being utilized effectively? I think most of the beavers are sleeping right now, which is fine. But I, I want to believe that they're taking advantage of all these. I think they are. If we go to our... Uh, okay, so it's about half. Still need a lot. That's what's going to be difficult about really scaling the population, because I want I want to try to get to 1,000. I don't know that we're going to be able to do it. I know we can do at least 500 and have it be pretty stable, but the amount of uh, stuttering the game is already having at uh, 338 uh, leaves me to not exactly be optimistic about that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So this is looking pretty nice. Uh, Food-wise, I still think we're in really good shape. Uh, for raw materials, but as the population continues to grow, obviously that's going to become a bigger and bigger concern. For right now, though, it's fine. We can, however, uh, do what I was going to do last time and plant some more of these guys here just to make sure they're ready to go. It costs us nothing to have these plants sitting here unharvested. It's really not that big of a deal. So let's see. I had the pattern going. I had uh, three rows of spatter dock and one row of cattails. So this needs to be another row of spatter dock and then another one on that side. And then cattails on the outside. I think they can still reach, oh yeah, all the way down here. These guys can only reach up there. That's fine. And then I guess we can have another aquatic farmhouse somewhere else. And I might want to keep this area open for future uh, building stuff. I know I can get rid of this frog path because now that's all completely connected. So I think what we'll do is we'll just have this reach all the way out with the uh, spatter dock here. I don't want to put a uh, an aquatic farmhouse on the temple island necessarily, but uh, we can continue wrapping this around. I believe they could still reach this. Yes, yeah, so we'll just take this. Uh, I guess right there is probably fine. And then we'll just kind of gradually taper that in like so. Probably not going to matter that much. And now we can extend this all the way out this way. That's not going to be a problem. We could actually, uh, because of how this is set up, I could pretty easily... That was this three wide? Alright, that's not going to fit there, but we could just move We could just move our windmill. Hey there, William Laguna working in the Dutch windmill. Who else is in here? That's... Uh, oh, Caboodles. What's up? I think... I think I can get away moving this one more this way. So let's do that. Uh, Dutch windmill. Rotate that way. And then, the reason I did that is because now I can put in a platform right here. And we can put another aquatic farmhouse. Employ some additional beavers. That guy right there. And then... Right here, we can put a staircase. We'll do metal stairs so they get that buff when they pass. And that's going to have nice access from here as well. And we'll be able to, I think... Oh, yeah, there's tons of space. Tons of space over here. So since we're here, might as well go ahead and extend our uh, planting all the way out. And we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty well covered for just about any eventuality <laughs> for a very very long time assuming i have the pattern correct not that it you know not that it really matters that much but that is looking like it's going to be about the limit we'll put one more row in here and that's going to be a-okay just fine can i squeeze in another dutch windmill no i don't think it's going to let me which is a shame I, I, I love how these things look. That's just fantastic. 
and there's yeah there's no other way i can move that all right well it is what it is that is going to really be helpful to have all of this already planted ready for harvest even if we don't need it it's not going to go bad sitting unharvested which i guess is kind of broken <laughs> it's a game mechanic but see that one's cattail that one's wheat did i have this one set to wheat i think i did so all right we got a uh, detruca here or actually that's probably a long a long a sound detruca maybe if there's two of them uh, yeah we'll let them take care of this it's already looking pretty good uh, these guys, yeah, they're all mature trees, except these two, three, uh, seven trees-ish, I think. Yes, yeah, so they're looking good. Now, uh, they're still cutting these down, kind of, but we can go ahead and plant some of these as chestnuts. Just try to, uh, slowly, slowly keep up with all of that. Now, why does this have, uh... No tree planted here. Can this guy not reach it? No, it can uh, it can reach there. Can the uh, tapper shack not reach it? No, it can reach. All right, well, that's weird. Let's uh, plant a chestnut tree there. <laughs> There's no reason for that not to have one. Okay, looking good, looking good. We've got a couple more we can place down. Uh, it's it's going to be one of those things we have to just keep checking on. But big improvements here. Love this additional capacity. Uh, <laughs> growing spatterdock and cattails and the... Uh, quote unquote holy land of the frogs I guess that's appropriate it's not a cult I swear uh the this guy can't reach these last few so let's go ahead and just um is that gonna is that gonna reach here or might just uh yeah I'll stick that there get rid of this guy and demolish these just build their path out here and then I think we can let these dandelions just kind of grow naturally they're not really uh, hurting anybody. They're easy to uh, get rid of. Not that I think we're really going to need them. Probably ever. <laughs> it's uh, unlikely. But it does us no harm to have those in place ready to go. So we can gather those last couple trees. Uh, our tree amount is still not recovering quite as fast as I'd like. So we're going to have to have uh, additional logging happen. I guess this island would be next. Uh, right here, it's got all sorts of other stuff. We really do not care about all these berries. Um, it doesn't count toward nutrition, I don't think. No. So why don't we... Got a, we got a couple minutes left. Let's go ahead and just get rid of everything that we can on this island that isn't a tree. We want to, we want to cut down the trees and use the wood. But we'll just prepare this for being another forester island. I'll just go ahead and mark every single square as cuttable, even if they aren't technically uh, reachable. Just to be prepared. So that's looking good. And then I think we'll have path come out this way. Maybe the frog path. You know, we have to have the frog path. Um, I don't have to have that connect here necessarily, although that's not a bad spot for it. I think I'd prefer just go in the middle here and then we'll have this come right up the front in the middle give them those metal stairs to get that buff and then once that's done I think probably would make the most sense to just blast this all down uh, we probably don't have enough explosives to do that but we will when we get there uh, it's gonna be faster to just build stairs So we'll just do one of those. And I'll place a lumberjack flag. Yeah, I guess we'll do here. And then we can have another one over here. I think. Oh, there's no reason not to just stick this in the corner. We'll put this in the corner temporarily. And then a ladder right in front of it. Cheat them at their own game. But look at these. Look at these guys. They're uh they're so eager to uh, just destroy things. So now they can harvest all of these trees. I believe this guy should be able to reach everything. Okay, well, except these back here that nobody's ever going to get to, which is fine. So we'll let them take care of that. Should not be too much of a uh, too much of a problem, but we will plant this with oak trees for maximum log gains. 
I like how this looks from a uh, way up here. All these uh, all these crops kind of peeking up out of the water like that. And day one drought is done. Look how slowly, look how slowly this guy's turning at only 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 3,000, whatever. Uh, slowly, slowly recharging. It's a process. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of good stuff done. Even if it hasn't been really any huge building projects, we've got a lot of little things taken care of, and that's always nice. Very, very good progress. Give some uh, some bored beavers something to do. Cutting trees, which uh, I'm sure they are more than happy to do. Make sure we mark that for demolition so it doesn't get uh, too far away here. We need to give them a path to go all the way back. I think they should be able to, uh, with paths like this, they should be able to reach all these now. Yeah, look, look at them go. Look at them go. They are just tearing stuff down with extreme speed. Love to see that. All right, so now we've got to decide uh, how are we going to have this set up for logging. We don't really need to worry about having a huge storage for anything. And this is currently only a height of three, so I don't think I could get away with burying much. But if we felt like it, uh, I could probably, could probably detonate right down here. Uh, have a three, I think I have to have a three by three and then one... One thing for a ladder in front of it. So if I were to do that, maybe maybe we want to detonate the rest of this stuff down first and then decide where it goes. Because if we put that in the very center of the island, I think that might work. Because what we did over here was great, except uh, now we're no longer you know logging here, so this is kind of a wasted construction. But you know it's storage space. We'll still use it. It's fine. But if we have the opportunity to be a little bit more uh, a little bit more choosy with how we have our uh, our stuff set up, I think we're gonna be all the better for it. Hey, Malice Pixie, working here in Lumberjack Flag. Uh, Zippy Boo over here in this one. Beard boosters everywhere. And now we have about a thousand logs, so we probably could turn some of this stuff back on, but we don't need it. We're not using all those materials. So that is uh, probably gonna be just fine how it is. Now, I'm going to prioritize both of these by the haulers, so uh, these guys can focus on just cutting stuff down. Which I think is going to be our eventual goal anyway. So if we kind of eyeball the center of the island to be about, about right here. I'm going to go ahead and just call... Let's go one more, one more back. Yeah, if I have these blown up, which I'm actually going to now since we don't need this. Blow this up. Actually leave this one unblown up. We'll do that one in a second. Do a little Among Us shape. I don't I don't know who it was that said that the first time, but that was super funny. Uh, so we'll have them place these explosives down. We'll blast down two levels because then we can build on top of that with our, uh, our side platforms and just put our Forester on top of that and a few of the uh, a few of the uh, lumberjack flags. And now that this is taken care of, I think we can blast all of this down and be a okay. I should be able to reach most of that. Set this off. Do it again, and uh, then we can put our underground log storage right in the center. Once that's done, blast these away. And now we're cooking. All right, I, I got nine, nine or ten minutes left <laughs> based off my uh, recording timer to keep this under an hour. So let's see if we can get it done. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that guy because I, I needed him. Oh, well. I will right, just put that there instead. All right, all right, come on, all you all you builder beavers, get over here. We got a deadline to beat. I really like how these story gates look. That is just fantastic. Are we out of power? We sure are. Well, that's a it's kind of a drag. It's too bad I can't put water wheels here. That would be uh, 
It'll be something else. Maybe that's a problem for next episode to try and fix that. Can they uh, not reach this, really? All right, well, if that's the case, we'll just uh, build our path. Come on, let me click on this. And they should be able to reach that. Yep, there they go. All right, now we just need them to come over with a quickness with all of this explosive stuff. All right, come on. I know you guys can finish this. Just get it done. Because then we, well, we also have to do this one, and that's going to probably uh, probably take some time. They could just place a few more of these so we can just set this whole first level off. I know that's going to be good progress. I really want to make sure that this gets done. So that would be very nice to have that completely taken care of. So maybe we leave them alone for a little bit. Uh, this still isn't uh, ready here, but... Uh, these guys... Oh, we don't have enough log storage. We do not have enough log storage. Well, you know how you fix that, is you build log storage. I know, shocker. Uh, so underground piles... I guess we could just put one down here. Probably not the worst thing ever to have one in this area, so... Let's, uh... Let's just stick that there, just because we can. No real rhyme or reason to it, but... Put that done, set that to logs, and set that to supply. So then they will at least have somewhere to store all these because we need to keep this cycling as much as we can. We are uh, rapidly going to be running out of logs over there. All right, let's get that done. And then I believe if I'm correct, the uh, the height clearance is going to permit this. If it doesn't, then I get to look like an idiot. And MP3 Zilla gets to say, I told you so because he uh, actually mapped all this out and it was my fault for not looking at the document. <laughs> so. That's taken care of. Uh, and now, how many do we have? We have 196 left. That might be enough. Might be enough to get this whole side done once the trees are gone. But we definitely want these two to be done first. So get these guys. Get them in here. Come on. Let's go. There you go. I see you coming in here with the explosives. All right. Set those off. And now I'm going to pause the game just to make sure if I can't. Oh, look, there's actually a part of the model you can see. Um, if we put this down and then I immediately come up here to our side platforms. Can I? Good. Excellent. That is everything I needed to know. Let's go ahead and set this to log supply. I guess I got to unpause now. And we'll put our ladder right here. And now, there we go. Integrated, convenient log storage that we can build on top of. So now we have our Forester, which should be able to reach the entirety of this whole thing, no problem. We'll just stick this guy right here. And then next to him, we can put uh, this. And then... Uh, this guy right here, I think, should work just fine. Just having those two for this whole island. And we'll see what ends up happening as a result of that. But for now, let's go ahead and keep on planting all these explosives. And I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. I probably should have left the slope there, but eh, whatever. That's fine. These guys are hard at work, making sure we can blow stuff up, send this episode out with a bang. So while they're laying all these explosives, let's go ahead and get that uh, get that final uh, send-off rolling here. By my clock, it's 57 minutes. I think it's going to be 55 in the video because it takes a couple minutes to load up the game. But yeah, got some good stuff done today. No huge projects necessarily, but like I was saying earlier, every little bit matters and it's always nice to get something done especially when it looks cool like those lanterns over over by the uh carnival which we can actually go back and check out because you know that that's going to be fine this late at night let's just pause real quick i like this this just looks so nice it, it's warm it's inviting it feels like a, a festival kind of atmosphere and there's some other stuff we can put in here at some point uh not tonight today whenever you're watching the video but yeah uh oh we could do since we're here, let's unpause and let's put them in these uh, paper lanterns. 
Yeah, can I get with, well, first of all, without blocking any doorways. Uh, right like so. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's see, can I put this here with uh, the windmill in the way? I don't think it's going to let me... Uh... Oh, no, it will. Okay. All right, so if I did that, and then on this... Nope, 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 hold on. Wrong way. Move yourself. Come on. It's a little, little finicky. But that... Ah, I like that. That's cool. And then here in the middle, oh, obviously it's it's not four white, so that's not really going to... Not really going to work great, but I'll go ahead and put in. I didn't want this one here. Get out of here. Just put some of those right there. And then along the entire side here, what if we had our modern lanterns? And over the path. Yeah, there we go. Just like so. So that's something nice. Very cool. And then uh, we'll figure something out to do here. Might have our, our lanterns alternate, maybe? Because of the way the uh, side works here. Although, you know, I don't hate that. I think that might be... Uh, might be okay. Might be okay like that. So, cool. That's going to be a big improvement there. We'll see here in just a second when these all turn on what this looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Those are great. We already talked about that. We already talked about how great these look. Big improvements. Big improvements. Now, in terms of explosive time, they're almost, almost done. And we actually have this uh, ready to go. Not connected by pass because the uh, ladders haven't been built yet. But that's big progress there. We just got to get the rest of these explosives placed. They'll take care of that. Not really going to be pressed about anything but look look how nice this is look how nice this is uh, okay we gotta kill, we gotta kill some of these uh some of these little trees there we go and plant the rest of these with chestnuts come on don't lag me out here work with me there we go and yeah chestnut numbers are they're, they're hanging in there still not quite where they need to be but they are improving and that is gonna be so nice so nice when it's done now what's holding up this one? Metal blocks? Well, we have tons of those, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, this is good to go. Now, when I explode this, it doesn't. it's not going to transfer over, so that's, uh, I guess, something to become concerned about. These guys. These guys. Uh, are any of them carrying explosives? Nope, let's set this off. Just to get that uh, off and running to a good start. All right, yeah, they're going to take care of that. But now that this is in place, all we have to do now is get our ladders here. And we can start planting. I'm actually going to go ahead and begin planting these. Just so they can, you know, actually have something something to do while we're waiting here. And, uh, yeah, now while they're placing that, we'll actually get you guys moving out of here today. So, yeah, I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for watching these videos. It really is a whole lot of fun to be able to do these almost every day. We're, we're getting back to a uh, to a daily upload schedule slowly, slowly but surely. And uh, again, if you haven't had the chance yet, please do go check out the Water Beaver uh, playthrough we just started yesterday. A whole lot of fun, and I really think you'll like that. Uh, also, I would be remiss to say, uh, not say thank you to the Beard Boosters. Uh, really, really fantastic people helping me out uh, to continue doing this and providing extra support that really and truly does make a huge difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And even if you're not one of them, thanks for being here because your support matters too, even if it's not monetary or whatever. Uh, it's, it's just really fun to be able to do this and to share time with you guys. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.